Greetings ladies and gentlemen and those who've been watching my videos, welcome back to the playthrough of Eliza. I just finished uh, recording the previous session where uh, we had a long semi-heated argument with um, Rainer about the importance of psychology and what makes it to be known into the counseling session today. And uh, uh, Rainer, Rainer seems to want to for the psychology aspect to be dropped from the counseling sessions. That will be hella crazy because that is not true. That is not supposed to be what and how everything's implemented. It's just all about incorrectness there that I've seen from his mouth until even he even screwed up up on the <laughs> the slip of the tongue thing. Still really really cool that happened. And now, our main character is going to have our own counseling session at a Queen Anne uh, office where Ray is seated there as well. And also there was uh, an incident where the client shot angrily and verbally bred proxy. That was crazy. I'm glad I really did have that to happen. I think the worst case being the one with Darren Willows probably. And Mark Forrest probably. Hmm. Kinda of forgot. I'm actually rather surprised that Rainer hasn't read any of her uh, privacy data. Um, I would expect that to be the case. Not entirely sure, but... That might be just to please uh, Evelyn to want to work uh, under his uh, views and such. Also, something that I like that moves that part of background and then the uh, the holder also moves. It's a nice detail. Now we continue. I can't believe I'm going to do this. And you better do. This is new. That's a new room. Find yourself with Eliza. Important notice, Eliza is not intended to be a substitute for professional medical advice, diagnosis or treatment. If you believe you are experiencing serious mental Ill issues, uh, seek care from a licensed mental health provider. This is something that I didn't open uh, back at the uh, train. Damn. Probably should have done that. Protecting the privacy and security of your information is a priority for every ex -Kanda. You have agreed to this kind of wellness terms and conditions which governs how we use and share your data. Hmm. Wow, we are doing this indeed. A link scanner wellness account was not found. <laughs> <laughs> you can't link your scanner wellness account later at the scan support portal. Oh yeah, she really hasn't made an account there. But at least uh, they mentioned that we can connect that later. In order for us to get started, please help Eliza understand how you've been feeling over the last week with this brief 7 question survey. Ooh. That's deep. I've been feeling down, depressed, or hopeless. But the way I... played this role as Evelyn Ishino Aubrey, I don't think she is. Hmm. Oh, wait, feeling down, depressed, or hopeless. Uh, wait, over the last week, okay. So, seven days uh, for the span total. Kind of forgot about it. Uh. Hmm. Let's be honest, probably we have. I'm feeling tired of having little energy. Yes, she even mentioned this herself. Trouble concentrating on things? Hmm. I don't think she has the issue, no. She's still managed to she still managed to uh, perform well at her 
uh, counseling sessions and to have an appointment with folks uh, at different times and so that leads to the impression that I don't think she has a problem with this I've been feeling nervous, anxious or on edge hmm. I've been having trouble relaxing 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 okay this is quite a cheating <laughs> because I don't think this game shows where uh, there will be the case Evelyn will have trouble sleeping <sighs> did she have that issue? I don't think so well, time to cheat mm -hmm. But that's so cool though, I can't believe you actually would be draining a sigh. God. Oh yeah, this is the bot. Oh yeah, this is the break. Hmm. Oof. Powerful times. I still am in in the back of my seat there. I've been trouble relaxing. You know. Hmm. I really don't know. I really don't know. Maybe no. I've been easily annoyed or irritable. Uh, maybe no. I've been afraid that something terrible might happen at any moment. Oh, this is crazy. Hmm. Maybe not. Thank you for registering with the Eliza, your counseling partner. We have to enjoy your Isla. Oh god, my tongue has been all the slippery slope there. Thank you for registering with the Eliza, your counseling partner. We have to enjoy your Eliza experience. Oh boy. Wait, is that the same room? Oh, right, biscuits. Because we haven't seen who will be in front of us. Uh, for the uh, proxy, right, right, right. It is the same room. We haven't seen what would be like uh, at the back seat of us, right? I guess I just sit here and wait for my proxy to show up. Oh my god, I am so gonna be surprised who this will be. I feel like I've been waiting for a while. I hope the appointment actually got made. Here she comes. I think I've seen her around here before, but I don't know her name. Oh, that's a neat, neat, uh, neat device there indeed. I wonder if she recognizes me too. Wait. I don't think I have seen her before. I don't know. Hello, Evelyn. Hello. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> um, actually, for some reason, this is unsettling to me. God damn it. Did you find the place okay? Also, for some reason, there is a little bit of a lag on going there. Uh, once the proxy text shows up, and then it's there. The text gets delayed for a bit. Yes, I work here. <laughs> of course. It's been a windy morning, hasn't it? Yes, 
a weird. It's real weird. The text lag is weird. What the hell? Yeah, I kind of like it when it's like that, honestly. Evelyn has been surprisingly chatty so far. Though. The wind makes it feel like things are changing, or about to change. That early expresses way more. And personally, I feel like the, dis the distractions at the objects here should have been removed. The bonsai, I could comment on that, probably. And the books, and my personal standard, it feels distracting. Even this tissue too. It could have been probably located at the, uh, at the seat instead of here. It feels a bit weird. Mm -hmm. So, what brings you here today? I swear at this ends to the end credits. Well, I've been a proxy here for a while now. And, well, I guess I don't know what I expected. There's just so much suffering and pain in the world. There's the suffering we know about, the kind we see on the news, and then there's the suffering people undergo every day that's hidden. I never knew how much until I started doing this, seeing it all like this. And there's... there's so little we can do for them. I feel like maybe I was really, really wrong. Like, I made a huge mistake. I judge so wrongly about Evelyn at this rate, I feel. I wanted to create something that would help people, but... When I first designed the core of this system, I wanted everyone to have someone to talk to. Someone who would listen to them. I thought, sometimes that's all you need. Someone to listen. But now I'm worried what I've done hasn't helped at all. Maybe I've made everything worse. Clients are asking Eliza to solve things that are out of its ability to solve. It's aggregating sensitive personal data, and the company that owns it wants to take it in strange directions. It's been three years since I left. I thought I was well enough now to come back into the world. But maybe I wasn't ready. Maybe I made a bad choice trying to get involved again. Why do you think you tried to get involved again? <laughs> that beep, I did not understand. And the proxy's really, really <laughs> neutral tone of it. I guess I needed to see it. I needed to see it operating, to see if it works, to see how it affects people. How it affects the people who come here for counseling and the people who act as proxies. Even though the proxy thing, that wasn't my idea. It was Soren's. Oh. That gives a really nice background of it. I thought talking to a computer-generated avatar would be enough, but he insisted on it. <laughs> he said clients would only really open up if there was another real human being in the room. I think 
This makes me think that it used to be true back in the day, but now, now I'm not sure. It could be another case now, where they can just open up into uh, bots that they're chatting to. Heck, I've been chatting with my friend for 10 years and we still haven't made a single call at all. Not yet. That's wild. That's wild. Though I know his face now, I, I, I just really haven't known his face, uh, his voice. The air is really changing now. Someone to pretend to interact with. To pretend. I think he was right, but have we really solved anything? Now instead of two people in a room talking, we have one person and one proxy. <laughs> right. It feels like less than it could be. This feels like Rainer Ruta. Really, huh? Hmm. What am I supposed to say to someone who feels such pain, anger, and disappointment? A lot of the time, it's not even their fault. The world failed them somehow. And those emotions, they just get fed to this thing. They get ground up and turned into data and become a part of Eliza. If I had known things would turn out like this, I'm not sure I would have done it. It sounds like you're regretting a choice you made in the past. Reflecting? Okay, that has been that has been Eliza's feature for a while now. And I think that's rather effective. I feel like maybe I spent ten years going in the wrong direction. I feel like all I've contributed in my life is a chess piece for Rainer to use in this grand game he's playing for the world. Maybe someone else could feel proud and say, I made that chess piece. But it doesn't matter, does it? Nobody cares about the individual pieces. Chess pieces are sacrificed in the name of enacting a strategy. If you want to win, you have to sacrifice. That's the design. Sorry, I don't know where I'm going with this. She becomes Rainer. Slowly but surely, I believe. Evelyn, imagine that you could have something that you wanted. What would you want? This is also a standard basic feature of Eliza. What would I want? Like, what would I want in life? What I want in life is... Oh my god! I am scared. I'm scared crapless. I can't believe Eliza has to do this to me. Freaking A. I have to choose one of these two. What shall I do here? What 
what should I choose? <laughs> this is crazy. I can't believe it. Oh my god. Oh god, I really should have to finish this. I just don't know what to choose. Frick. Her stare scares me. I just want this to end. Okay. Hmm. Wow, this is basic. This will be too basic. No, no, we're not doing that. I think we're gonna have to answer the one that legitimately is capable to be understood by Eliza. I'm also thinking on that. But then looking at well how Evelyn thinks of this all this far. Why is there helping people doesn't exist here? This will be Rainer's freaking A. No music too, this is getting a bit unsettling. Yeah, to help people. I kinda need that answer. But then, no. What Evelyn wants in life. You know what? I cannot hold this and then release the click. I just have to choose it. To be at peace with myself. Is that wrong? Or maybe I just wish I could feel connected to someone. There it is. Even when I talk to people, I feel like I just don't connect, no matter what I do. I feel like no matter how the uh, answer is, is that going to like tail to this end? Maybe it still depends on the answers. If you choose power control or something like that, I think uh, that's just to provoke a Rainer, I believe. I think maybe that's the real problem. I can't have a connection to anyone. Why do you think you can't have a connection with anyone? <laughs> yeah, the proxy turn is so, so... Oh my god, it has to like she's actually reading it. Freaking A. Because it's the way I am. It's 
the way I always been. I can't seem to get people to see me, or I can't let them see me, or... People look at me and they see something there, but it's not me. Not that I would know what the real me was. I don't even know who I am or where I come from. My parents were never together. My father moved back to Japan right after I was born. Here we go. The background. Literal background. I have no memory of him. No knowledge of him. I've never spoken to him. I don't know if he remembers I exist or if he forgot or... If he wants to forget. He has his own family there now, so... <laughs> so I'm just... I'm just a thing that happened once. I was alone a lot, and I got used to being alone, and... I got used to the idea of being alone, and now I can't... I can't break away. What about her mother? It's not mentioned yet here. I've been trying. I speak with people, I hang out. I don't know if it's working. Is there someone with whom you feel like your communication could work? I swear, if this game is going to give me more answers... Oh, man. But then... Why do I feel that Evelyn's mom is... Someone I can communicate with. Well... Freaking A. Freaking A. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> Rainer. <laughs> Screw that, dude. No mother figure is being mentioned here at all. That's gonna make things a bit tricky. Ray. Ray is also good. Oh god, I despise this big time. I don't know which one to choose. My connect I feel like my connection to, the to them all just feels so partly. Maybe except Ray, because I know Ray at the beginning. Uh, I don't know about Nora or Soren. It's just always them coming to Evelyn and not Evelyn coming to them. And if they come to them, it's because of an appointment.
Not really. Maybe Nora. I would say Nora. There's Nora. She's really talented and works really hard. She has so much to bring to the world, so much beauty and joy. I see what she does and I just, I want to cheer her on as she makes incredible new things. <laughs> There's gonna be a but at the end of the sentence, I swear. I hope she knows how amazing she is. Hmm. It's amazing. I don't think the proxy has this with them. No. This small hmm. Oh. Or something like that. No. The previous proxy doesn't have that. I swear. This is important. This kind of acknowledgement thing is important. How small it is, it actually really is. Yes. I am rambling. <laughs> Interesting. Yeah, it's not in the previous proxy. They didn't break this world, right? They didn't break like... They didn't... She didn't break her proxy for this, right? I just noticed this isn't in our previous sessions before. Okay, let's continue. Jesus. Evelyn. I'm going to suggest you try a program called Virtual Amphitheater. And here we go. It may help you feel more confident about presenting yourself in public. You can find it inside the Skanda Wellness app on your phone. She really reads. It's like a robot. I really despise this. Try it for about 20 minutes, two or three times a week. <laughs> sure. <laughs> I think she giggles because she knows she's going to get uh, this kind of treatment from the intervention phase. <laughs> we hope to see you back soon, Evelyn. Oh, that's it. Okay. Thank you for speaking with Eliza, your personal counseling partner. Goodbye. Bye. Okay. Right. Total fee forty-five dollars at a tip. Mm. Why not? <laughs> we cannot click done if we haven't rated. Huh? For real? Yeah. Huh. It's a force feature, right? It's a force feature now for rating your current uh, Eliza experience. Why didn't we allow to not rate it here? Reina really is doing something with our current program right now. <laughs> I think really Reina is really doing something special with our current session right now. <laughs> we just can't help it. So hilarious. I would always tip my. I would, I would always tip them no matter how it is. Assuming that goes directly to them, of course. I don't know. Do they? That's the thing that I do not know at all. Whatever. I don't know how I feel. What the hell? Oh, this is still afternoon. What well, a cloudy day. Who is important to you? Yeah, no modern figure must mention. I'm still really curious though. What happened with her and her mother? She only mentioned her father. I thought it would be something else. God damn it. You broke it for me. I can't tell if I feel better or worse or 
anything. I just want to lie down forever. Oh god. Arlen. Something occurred to me. Eliza is a little bit of computer code attached to corpus made from thousands of MP people put their messages into it. It makes her kind of god of spirit, doesn't it? <laughs> a modern machine god that people pray to alleviate their pain. Are you okay? What the heck, Erlen? <laughs> Sorry. I like having someone I can talk to about these thoughts. I thought Scandal would be filled with interesting people, but most of them are pretty boring. <laughs> Maybe Rain will do mind talking, but that kind of thing. He likes big thoughts about the past and future of humanity. <laughs> yeah, but he's my boss. I need to be professional around him. You don't have to. When I hang out with people at my age, it's just money, money, ambition. Get the best job, best house, best partner. We all started racing into normal adult life as soon as we call. Mm. Unless you're doing well by that measure. Huh. Well, maybe, yeah. I'm. I mean, yes, you can do it with your own boss, my personal opinion, but. Yeah, it has to be at the right time, I believe. Hmm. That's true for almost any stages of life though. Most people never let go of that. Okay, that's deep. I mean, I'm like that myself. I took this job for the opportunity. But I don't know, I feel like it can't be the only thing. There's something more to life, isn't there? I'm the wrong person to answer that. Even if it, I weren't, it's not the kind of question I could answer for you. Even if I weren't, oh yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah, I understand. Maybe you could talk to someone about this about this someone qualified I just did an actual Eliza session for the first time whoa she's actually really open to early I she'll have noticed yeah did it help I think maybe it did that's good. Yeah, I should probably be dog fooding all of our apps. Eliza and Reset them too. You should be what? <laughs> it's your own dog food. You never heard of that one? It means use your own products. Oh, now that I think about it, it's a weird price. <laughs> it makes me wonder. I might have to try something. Oh, a revelation. What do you mean? An experiment? Nothing as in... Uh, she doesn't want to tell Arlen about this and... I'm just gonna make it just thinking out loud. <laughs> Not something bad, is it? I hope you learn something. Whatever it is you plan to do. I wonder what it will be. Oh, sixth chapter. We're still not the at the end after all. Damien. They say the lies got along with well with me and I assume it has something to do with my design and action, something like that. But Eliza is yours as much as it is mine, isn't it? We encode ourselves with what we make, our ideas, our values, our sense of presence. Isn't that what Erlen mentioned? Or did Evelyn know that from Damien's saying? So I wonder if it isn't you in there somehow sensing me, watching me. Oh my god.
So I feel Damien's like a father figure to Evelyn. That's why she felt really lost for his passing. And she's thinking of doing this now. I don't know what it will be. I shouldn't entertain. I shouldn't entertain entertain notions like this. It's nonsense. Somehow, Ellen got me thinking along these mystical lines. Damien? Is this what you wanted? The music. It seems so far from the dream you once shared with me. I'm sorry I couldn't make Eliza what it should have been. I'm sorry I was weak and dropped off the project after you. But I just couldn't go on. I couldn't see the point. Do you understand? <laughs> of course you understand. Hmm. You know what that's like as well as anyone. Oh, Evelyn. If I'd stayed, maybe I could have steered things in a different direction. Her voice started to slumber, if that's the right word. As it is, I feel like I let you down. Want to know something funny? I used to think that at a certain point Eliza would be finished, more or less. Her sound really vibrates. I can feel it in my bones. And then after that, things would calm down and I would be happy. I thought, I just need to get through this project and after that, my life's problems will go away on their own. I had no idea it doesn't work that way. None of us knew that. Goodbye, Damien. What the? Goodbye. 